Now this video is going to be on my application of turquoise into a project. You may do it differently. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube for applying turquoise and how you would do that. Um, last September I saw Rex Birmingham at a symposium apply some turquoise and he's very good. He's done a lot of this, no doubt. And I'm still learning. Um, let me just show you where I'm at with this. <clears throat> this is a little acid brush that plumbers use to apply flux. I'd buy these in a box of 50. I've got two or three different sizes. And they're really good for, for applications where you don't need a, a real expensive artist brush. Last night I applied one layer of turquoise, and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Brush all those flakes, and this, this is really pretty much straight from that application of uh, CA glue. I'm going to get that out of the way a little bit, and I'm going to put this in a container. Get all the loose turquoise off that. And I'm going to look and see what I've got going here. Here's some bigger stones of turquoise that I've um, inlaid into the wood. I carved off a little bit of that with my uh, rotary engraver so it's embedded into the wood and I hope that that sticks fairly well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a chisel and I'm going to just clean up these edges because I've got some turquoise out here where I don't want it. And I'm going to just use a small uh, woodworking chisel, a dovetail chisel. It's probably an eighth of an inch or thereabouts. And I'm just, just going to clean up around the edge of my inlay. Now I've got my surface cleaned up a little bit. I've done some sanding. Previously I had sanded this entire area probably down to 800 grit, so it's, it's in fairly good shape. It just needs a little bit more finish. It's a good idea to seal this surface right here where you're going to apply the turquoise, and then it's easier to clean that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a thin bit of CA glue with a fine applicator tip on that, and I've got a, a few areas here that need built up. Sometimes you may want an application of turquoise that's absolutely flush to the surface. Here I've got this built up a little bit. I kind of thought this might look a little bit like a river or something, I don't know. So I'm going to put a little bit of thin CA glue and try to be really careful where I put it, right there. I need some right here. I need some right here. And it looks like I need some right there. Try not to get that on the uh, wood around that. So I've got a little Dixie cup that I've cut with a little bit of a spout there that I'm going to apply this and just shake that on there and you can be pretty, pretty liberal about it. Oop. Now what I like to do at this point where I'm, I'm just kind of fine tuning the surface, I'm going to just leave that right like that. I'm going to leave it for half an hour or an hour and I'm going to let that dry. I don't want to be brushing that with my little acid brush because I'll mess that up. This is kind of the end result. So let me show you something uh, that I've been working on that is more at the very beginning of your application of turquoise. Now you're looking at another piece that I've been working on. It's not completed. Here's the finial yet to be glued in to the top of this. The base is Manzanita. This bit up here is Vox Elder, that little lid, and I've got an inlay that I'm going to put in there. It's a little concho I get from Tandy. And I got a little work on the color on that, so I'm going to set that aside. This is the inside, which is pretty much completed. And I got a little gilt cream on that, a little, little texturing. Now, since I turned this bit of Mansonita, 
started to crack. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little work on some of these areas and put some turquoise in there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on this little uh, piece right here, a little bark inclusion or something. And I'm gonna sort of fine tune that a little bit with my engraver. This is a living art engraver I got from Craft Supply. So I'm gonna just clean that out just a little bit. And I got another area right here that I'm gonna clean out. Now I've got a bit of sanding left on the outside of this. Uh, sand at the bottom a little bit more. But I'm going to put my turquoise in there first and then sand that down so it's flush. I'm not going to have that sticking proud of the surface. So I'm going to start with a little medium super glue. In that spot there. I'm going to take my little Dixie cup applicator. I'm just going to press that down with my fingers and we'll, we'll brush that off a little bit. I want to make sure that's not sticking proud of the surface. So now I'll take a little bit of thin super glue. I don't like to use accelerator because I don't want that accelerator uh, changing the color of my surface of the wood. Sometimes it turns a little bit white. I'm in no rush on this because eventually I'm probably going to fill all these cracks and we'll see. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to find my other little area there, get it in the camera. Now if I've got a really deep crevice, I'm going to put some epoxy and sawdust in there and fill most of that up with something that's cheaper than turquoise. Get that down in there a little bit. Brush the excess away. A little thin. Being careful not to get that on the uh, wood that's up next to that. And there you go. I probably need one more application on that. I'll let that dry and I'll show you what that looks like. I spent the last hour putting the finishing touches on this sculptural piece and my Manzanita piece. And I think I'm getting them to where I like them a little bit. Not sure about this, but you know, it's all a matter of learning and experimenting. So here's my bottom of my Mancinita bowl. And I put a little bit of turquoise in that crack and started to fill those. I think that'll be really cool. Got a bit of shellac just covering that. So I think that'll be kind of neat once I get all those imperfections filled up. So thanks again for watching. This is the Wyoming Woodturner and have a good Christmas. See you next time.